It is Wednesday, September 6, 2023 at 6 p.m. I'm calling the Board of Health meeting to order. Is anyone recording this meeting? I see no one, and LACAM is recording this meeting. First on the agenda is new body art apprentice, Kyle Geary, located at the 12 Harding Street Body Art Establishment, Savage, Inc. Uh, I see all the paperwork here, Ed. Is there anything outstanding? No, nope, they, they had an inspection, so they have the space for another artist. So we had, to, we had to inspect that to make sure that it was. And the new artist, um, you know, they, they have all their um, requirements and everything. So that's all set, too. Okay. It's, a, it's an apprentice. It's not an actual yep. new artist, but they're working under someone else. Right. I remember when this, this establishment came in, what, about a year ago? Maybe a little bit more? Yeah, probably a little more. Yeah. yeah not too long. So I remember when they came in, too. So, uh, you guys got anything extra? No. Nope. I have nothing. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Yeah. I don't see anything on it. And that's the public. We have public, you know. You get to ask them if they have public. Comments. If they have any comment on the other apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't want to see your names in case you don't want so to. Does anyone know. else want to speak to this agenda item? Right. All right, then. I'll make a motion that we approve Kyle Gary to be an apprentice at 12 Harding Street at Savage, Inc. Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Next to the agenda is discuss septic systems that have failed and the two-year limit has expired. Turn it over to Ed. Yeah, there's a number of... Um, I mean, there, there are um, systems that expire, but they're in the process of doing it, so we, we sometimes give them extra time. Um, there are others that we're sending letters to, and they're just ignoring them. And when we send them letters, we, we always say, if you have a reason for not doing it, you can always come to one of our meetings and explain why you cannot do this. Um, but, like, there's a couple in, in some you know crucial areas where you know they are cesspools and they are definitely contaminating groundwater and there's nothing really being done about it so i just wondered if there was a policy if you guys wanted us to start finding people or just how how you chose to to enforce this because like i said it really most people do it um but it's just recently and and you know part of it's the um uh flippers as well you know they're like whereas most homeowners do it because you know it's their home um, with the flippers, it's it's um, it's less of a concern because they don't live there, you know. And I just have a question. This is on um, Title Fives, correct? Yeah, Title Five gives two, two year years upgrade. That's what we're discussing. Yeah. So our upgrade is only a year. Um, so what sometimes they do, if someone gets an approval in six months, then they only have a year and a half. So usually I give them that extra six months. I send them a letter at, at eighteen months, but say, hey, you got six months, and then you know. By then, you're under, you're violating the state code as well. Right now, you're just violating yeah. the, the Lakeville code, but in two years, you're violating the state code, and, and we're in that situation now with some of them. And like I said, we've sent multiple letters and things like that, so they're aware of it. Um, and sometimes they, they get a reaction that they, they'll they actually pull the permit, but they still don't do it. You know, So a lot of times, if they pull the permit, we give them another month or two, and then but still nothing happens. So it's just- But legally, we're supposed to condemn the houses if they don't do it, right? Yeah, they're not supposed to be living in it. But like I said, Title V allows um, them to do it for two years, uh, even even living in it. But And then you guys can extend that and say, if you hey, you want to do it three years, providing they come in and say, hey, look, I'm pumping it. It's okay. It's not harming anyone. Um, can I have another year? Yeah. So you guys are allowed that, but they're not even coming in. They're not even responding. Yeah. They just ignore them. I mean, do you put on the letters that um you know if you don't do it by this date the board may be forced to condemn the house no we don't do that we, we, yeah, we okay. give them the option of coming in but we don't, we don't i think we should add that right and then we do in certified too on them yeah yeah they are, they are so to the we know they're getting them yeah okay yeah. and it's, have you you haven't find anybody yet no correct so you're just seeing if we should start sending that yeah um, um or, like I said, Bob, if you want to condemn them, do you want to find them? Um, what's the... Well, I don't want to condemn them, but they need to get a reaction to get somebody to answer you. I don't like... I'll work with anybody, but if they're just going to ignore you, you know, any other town I work in, if you ignore them, 
they just shut you right down right away. So, I mean, we go out of our way to try to help people, but... And especially, too, when I first got on, we didn't have betterments, so it was kind of tough because um, even though it was a transfer, if something happened, the people didn't have the money, but we can lend them the money now, so there's really no reason to do it except they're just choosing to ignore you, which then that kind of aggravates me. Yeah, and then what we talked about before was, you know, some of these aren't, they aren't like a huge public health risk either, and they're again, tough property, but it's the smaller ones that's like, do we pick and choose? No, yeah. we have to be consistent with everybody. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree. About two years is, I mean, like I said, he's been sending letters. So, yeah. I mean, I think, I think you'd have to, have to send a, start sending a fine. Yeah, I, guess I, was say, I mean, they have to respond. and We're pretty flexible enough that we need to get some point. Yeah. You know, I mean, I could go buy them too to see, because some of them they're not living in. So, uh, if, it, if you go by, like what Bob said, if no one's living in the house, it's less of a threat. But if people are living in it, it's definitely more of a concern. Oh, yeah. If nothing's yeah. going on the ground, then I don't mm -hmm. care as much as I do yeah. if somebody's just living there and ignoring you. Yeah, or if a flipper bought it and's renting it and they're just yeah. ignoring us. Yeah. But again, I think you have to be consistent. With oh, everybody. with everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you can't just because. We got to say it so much time. We send them a letter that says, you know, if, we, if you don't come in and, and discuss it with the board, you, you know, you can yeah, be fined or up to yeah, having your home condemned. Idea. Yeah. That would might get some a reaction out of the people that are ignoring them. And but that's just it. If they came in and say, "Hey, no one's in the house," yeah. could you extend it a year? Then you guys can grant yeah. that. But to ignore yeah, it completely, correct. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm fine with that. Sorry, I'm just distracted by the, uh, the excitement outside. What's going on? Okay. Field sobriety test. It looks like what? It looks like a field sobriety machine uh, in the parking lot. Yes. <laughs> focus. Focus. <laughs> I was going to turn myself in, honestly. No. So uh, you'll draft a letter and just skip? You want to just leave it to Ed to draft? You want to have him? No, I'm fine. As long as it says something like that. Yeah, so, so you do know, we want to find? We've discussed this with just... the board and we're going to start fining you and up to, you know, after three more months, we're going to condemn the home. Okay, three get months. I think so. What do you guys think? I think that'll at least get them to answer them. And then if that gets them to answer them, then they come in, then we can give them the time to do it. Right. But if, then, like, but, right, you work in every other town around I here. Think it's, if yeah. you ignore people, they it's don't keep giving you more. I don't think I'd want to put a time frame on it, but maybe you can, I'm um, for putting the wording in it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You know, for Title Five, we, but it's, it's you, you got some, a little more teeth and, you know, to get them at least in the door, or at least contact yeah. to us, right? Otherwise, mm. it's just yeah. that fines and then we can go to the rest of the other process okay. but the, keeping the paper trail going too for the file you know because we've we went through this before and we don't remember how that paper oh, yeah. trail is going to stay active otherwise oh yeah things go cold and we against that over again so um yeah i agree so did we make it clear we send a letter sure. with a is there any way to uh, like the rentals while they're doing it, if there's people that are in it that are renting, that shouldn't Oh, if there's people in the units, then I'm all for coming down on them right away. But you? like he was saying, if they're empty and no one's flushing anything into the ground, I'd, I'd be way more open to just, you know, giving them an extension or seeing what their circumstance is. But yeah, if they've been flushing stuff for two years and they're not even responding now. I think there I, might be some that are short-term rentals that turn over Yeah, quickly. and. And I mean, that's like the hardest part of doing this. Like, you know, like legally we're supposed to condemn houses if they don't have something, mm -hmm. but nobody wants to condemn a house. And when I first started, we didn't have the betterment program. So we, you know, so a lot of people just couldn't do it. They didn't have the money. So you'd feel bad, but now we can literally, we can give them the money, go put a new septic in. So now if they're going to ignore us, I have no problem with coming down on them, especially if people are living in there. So do you want to have him draft a letter, or do you just mm -hmm. want to let him do it himself, or do, you, do we get to look at it when he's done? I'm fine with letting him do it, and I think right. he knows what we're talking about. Yeah, I just want to jump I'm fine. Okay. I'm, I'm fine, fine with it. I'm fine with it, too. Yeah. Um, are you going to send him a fine this first time, or are you just going to send one more letter? No, one more letter with like, the wording. Yeah. We're going to send up a fine you, and, yep. and, and then start fine we have the right to condemn. Right. Or come to the meeting, please. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm good with that. Sounds good to me. Are you Kyle? You, you've you already been approved. You've been approved, man. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going to copy of, because here we did a walkthrough, and um, 
Thanks. We I have an email saying they may need a copy, so I made a copy. Yeah, no, we got it. We got a copy. Thank you. Awesome, guys. Am I all set? <laughs> yep. You're good, good, good. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Hey, good luck. All right. How do you know that that was a second there? <laughs> yeah, how'd you guys guess? Profiles. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not nowadays. Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lift your eye. I get, I get myself in trouble. Yeah, the last the tattoo thing we they put me they made me take care of it. Yeah, the <laughs> other shop we had open. Yeah, the issue. All right. Um, next agenda is continued discussion from August sixteenth regarding changes to Lake Board Health regulations pertaining to surface disposal systems and water. Anything new? I have nothing new on it. I don't. I haven't. We haven't got any comments, Ed. Or uh, nothing actually, yeah. Up. Did any? Any, any engineers reach out at all? Or? Any public? Um, out? I've spoken with it to about some, with it to engineers, and they, you know, I think they're in agreement that you know it, it is a good thing, and um, you know it makes it easier for them, because when they're dealing with their client and they uh, recommend this, the client goes, "Do I have to do it?" Yeah. And they have to be honest with the clients and say, well, no, you don't have to do it. You know, we can, we can do it this way. And he's go, well, if that's cheaper, I'm going to do it that way. But I think a lot of the engineers would, would actually prefer it because if they're required to do it, then they can just tell their client, hey, we have to do this. We're going to do it. But like I said, if, if the regulation isn't there, then, um, you know, I mean, they can't lie to the client when they propose it because a lot of these engineers are proposing it. Um, but a lot of times a client makes a final call and says, Hey, I don't want to pay for it. So, um, okay. I know, uh, Ed had proposed a bunch of different ways to do it. Any inputs on what we're going to, well, if we haven't heard back from anybody, it's been two months, I think yeah, we've, been... we've, we've given time for the public to comment. So, um, why don't we we'll just... also have another period too, when oh. we actually have the reg ready and. Oh, post it all that stuff. Why don't we just say tonight, anybody that's interested in this uh, next meeting, we're going to dive deep into it with all the changes and come up with our draft proposal. And, um, and that's what we're going to have a public hearing on if we don't hear any more comments. Right. Oh. All right. So I'll, I'll create a draft proposal and you guys can either cross them out, add stuff, and then do it. But we'll, I'll yeah, create Yeah, And then we'll have it good enough. And then we have to go to advertisement to change your right. right so then that, be so the that gives us all that time in the meantime and then we'll have to have at least one more meeting when we advertise it for people to come yeah. and then if there's any changes then we can just take it from there yeah so but the changes wouldn't come to like we've heard October. from everybody that we see the most probably like their comments probably so right. far between the local SFG, SFG, uh, SFG yeah. I'll be back all, foresight, all yeah. back all right so I mean, yeah, I think getting some language well, you pull and, the trigger and then and then advertise it and get going on it. Right. All right. So let's plan on a. So at our next meeting, plan on being here for a while because we're gonna we're gonna dive deep and and square it all away a hundred percent. So right. yeah, well, so everybody we'll would know have what like we're discussing. Like yeah. five separate repairs on that too. Huh? <laughs> oh, you know there will be. But I think we got two right now. Okay. So we're gonna just let Ed come up with the first. Uh, is anybody well, we're yeah. going to go by the well are we going to go by square, square footage just so we know we're yeah. going to head towards yeah, that, would help. that would be helpful if you want to give me uh, the, some in indication now what you want and some had so much distance to a wetland like them for the other surrounding towns he looked up and sent us yeah um, my main concern is when we when there's no well on the lot and they're hooked to town water but they're on an undersized lot yeah. But there's wells in the surrounding area. I think that was the, my main concern. Yeah. Um, and I know Al's, Ed's concern was wells, distance mm. to wells, he was oh, concerned. Yeah. But well, both. I mean, I, I concerns with what you, what you said and, and that as well. So both of them. I think the density is an issue, but it's, if we make it too complicated that if you're on this size lot and you're within 50 feet or 75 or 100 feet, and we, we just got to... I kind of just think the lot size is, is probably the safest way to go because it's the nitrogen we're worried about. We're not. The more we talk about it too, like I, I feel like the proving thing, like I know it sounds weird to say prove that you don't need to do it. Yeah. I think that covers all the bases in a way, right? Yeah. Because then you're like, oh, here's this document, here's this document, we don't have to do it. 
You know what right. I mean? And as opposed to several instances, people don't need to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where we have yeah. situations like that. We well, we could make it so we're still allowed to give a variance on if somebody comes in. That's true. Too. So well, somebody surrounded. Is, as long as that's in the reg, if we somebody comes into this one random lot, there's all this undoable land around them, and they can prove it, and then we can say, oh, all right, but all right. But we got to start somewhere that we can give a variance off of. We can't just start with a whole bunch of variances included. Right. So both of you are concerned with uh, the full 40 gallon per day, per acre. And what's your, you also there or you want to do? I like that. But also I was just thinking maybe because we've talked about all these different variants, like variables. Yeah. Um, I'm more yeah, concerned about nitrogen things. than anything else. Because if we get the nitrogen under control, everything else will fix itself. Yeah. I think anyway. Yeah. The question I have with you base it off of the current situation where the 20,000 square foot lot size that you you voted on probably when we first started coming um, would it base off of that and then turn those nitrates off of that, not reducing it down in size on the lot size. Oh, that was for new construction. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, different stuff. Yeah, but this is different. more for yeah. that's for new construction. That's not changing. There's it's other things we're triggered. They can't build. But say somebody's down there on a ten thousand square foot lot, and they can't meet nitrogen loading because the lot's just too small. So then we'd require them to do this, which would be as close as we can get them to meet nitrogen loading. That when enough people do it, then it'll start having an overall effect. Yeah. But yeah, we're not changing like new construction. Okay. We're just talking about when you have that. That was all to fix new construction. This is for when we have a failure. So and this is only on repairs. repairs. Yeah, repairs. Okay. And on a repair, we can give all the variances that we want, and we've all we have we always have because we don't want to condemn people's houses. But now this is just gonna say, all right, well, we want this we we just can't let you just keep dumping four bedrooms of septic on an eight thousand square foot lot without at least making you try to make it a better situation we're creating a solution that's right. exactly what I'm yeah we're there, trying so. and part of this came up too is because you know the cape had the, the new regulations down there and you know we're trying to stay ahead of things if that ever comes this way um and then our situation is you know as much as it's we've done a bunch of things it's still not improving you know what i mean yeah. so there's other ways to try and do it where we're, we're, you know, at least, I mean, it's, it's not the easiest thing to improve it, but at least we can stop it from getting worse, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, I think you guys have made a lot of improvements, but uh, what you're countering is the amount of old homes being flipped yeah. and like abandoned homes that haven't been there for 10 years and now they're coming online. So if, if you don't account for those, then yeah, you guys made good improvements, but to keep up with those as well is the problem because like I said, there's been so many homes down there that have been in 10 years and now yeah. coming back online. But, it, but it's always going to move and target because I've been on 14 years now, 12 or 14 years. And when I first got on, we would literally, the agent would find pipes running right out to the lake. Like literally, like just go out there and see them and that's where it was going, right? We haven't had one of those hearings probably since you've been on the board. Haven't we haven't had any of those. I've so heard we, all the stories before. So, so we came down hard on that stuff, thinking we were doing the best at that time. And now we're trying to, you know, now with all these other houses down there coming online, all over the place, honestly, though, it's, you know, it's just trying to take it to the next level to say, you know, we're not going to give you, what we're basically going to say is we're not giving you that variance anymore. We're going to make you comply with as good as you can get it to give you a new permit. And before, without having this, it was kind of a floating target to say. Like European react, reactor. Yeah. So right now, right now, three wells, right now, three wells within 100 feet of that septic system, less than 100 feet, will tri automatically triggers advanced treatment. So now we're trying to find ways to. But that didn't help nitrogen load. So all these houses still could have three bedrooms on an 8,000 foot lot. So that was helping protect wells, but it wasn't protecting the ground or the lake. Mm -hmm. So now this is going to be to take it to the next step to say, now we're, you know, you're never going to get, if you got an 8,000 square foot lot, you're never going to get it to pass what new Title V would be. But the amount of variance we, we are going to have to give you is way less now because we're getting it as, because that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to make it as compliant as possible. So, and, and like I said, now we do have the betterments, and now we do have a larger tax rebate. 
oh. reimbursement for it. So it, they're getting. Oh yeah, back in the day, it was hard. Somebody would come in and you know, not in a, not on a sale because what were you gonna do? You know what I mean? That's when you have money, you sold your house. But you know, somebody's septic was overflowing and it was running down the neighbors, and they came in. We had to deal with it, and then the people come and like we don't have any money. It was a horrible situation to be in. But now we can say, we'll give you the money, just fix it. You know, we'll figure it out. So. And it does reduce the field size by these nitrates by 50%? Yep. Yeah. So it actually makes it a smaller footprint because you're doing treatment. And it'll last longer. And last longer. It'll be inspected yearly. Um, and there's still new stuff coming out all the time. So eventually, I think, yeah. hopefully, these will cost. We can do the same thing, and it won't cost as much, too, hopefully. Yeah, you yeah. shouldn't see and people with four-foot retaining walls around their whole front yards to make the septic fit anymore by going as well. What sure have with the bathtubs in their yard, you know, right? I mean, they'll still be raised mounds because we yeah. need a water table. But you can grant the variance to a water table now with these treatments, so it can be a foot lower. So there's a lot of advantage, mm -hmm. advantages tight to them. What was that? Tight tank doesn't put any nitrates in the ground. Correct. No, they don't put anything in the ground. It's not that they, we don't like tight it, tanks. We it's, can't force people to have tight tanks. So, you know, it's, it's, right, and making like sure they're maintaining it, pumping it. And then those are the stories I heard before I got on the board, too, is they would have a tight tank. Someone go in and knock the hole out, put a pipe in, pipe the pipe to the wetlands, or yeah. somebody come in and dig a trench and fill it with stone. And, and you I've know, then not, then, as you know, it's myself. not a compliant system it's not a tight tank anymore yeah. but too though to have that to do that way sometimes if you really had a family living in their three bedrooms they could spend like a thousand dollars a month to pump it and that's just not reasonable i'd rather see them spend the money some of these systems i went to a seminar once and they said that the what comes out is in a glass that you could drink it that's how clean it was and I was like, you first, like, right, <laughs> like, like, right, really, right. But supposedly, if you, these things do get it that close. So if we can, if we can impose, have people do that kind of stuff, it'll be way better than what's happening. So, so the the homeowners don't like the tight tanks, and they don't put them in. But in the long run, what they're saying is, these advanced systems you save a lot of money compared to a tight tank because yeah. you don't have the upfront cost of a tight tank, but if you have it more than five years, they pay for themselves. Yeah. Yeah, so. And now that we can lend you the money, maybe at first you didn't have the money and they'd push for a tight tank because it's a couple of grand, but now it's like, well, you can have less than that a year in payments and you can have a system that'll last years. I don't know how long, but a long time. All right, so I'm do you know where we're going with this, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. If you could send that out, well, you always do, but if you could send that out a few days before the meeting. Yep. So we can mark it all up. And then we'll have our last Board of Health meeting to discuss it. Discuss it. We'll fine tune it. And then we'll, if we're all good with it at that meeting, then we'll put it out on a, the advertisement and we'll have an actual. These aren't hearings, technically. They, you got to have advertised in the newspaper to change your right. A public at, hearing. A public hearing. And that's when. Um, at that meeting, stuff could still be changed if anybody had a problem with it. Yeah, we'd have the public hearing right before the meeting. Yeah. To separate, open yeah. it up separately, close it separately than the regular meeting. Yeah. Um, so, we want to continue this to yep. September 20th is mm -hmm. the next meeting? Yeah. Yes. I'll make a motion we continue this till September 20th. Second. More discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next the agenda, review and approve meeting minutes for June 7th, 2023 and June 21st, 2023. Do them separately? Yeah. June 7th first? Sure. I didn't have a problem with either no, one. I'm good for both. Feel the president. Okay. I'll make a motion. We approve the June 7th meeting minutes as typed. 2023. 2023. Second. More discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'll make a motion. We approve the June 21st meeting minutes, 21st, 2023 minutes as typed. Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Right. Before we get... Aye. I thought I said aye. And I just want to, now that we're moving on to the other stuff, either there's confusion or people don't understand i don't know but 
I've heard and read stuff on Facebook, which is destroying our country, if you ask me, uh, that I am pushing hard to get the cluster zone slash open space um, pushed through, quote unquote. Um, I'm the one who called the meeting and brought all the other boards here when the selectmen canceled the ZBRAC committee. I'm the one who had Ed get the stuff to um, to push back on and make them park every single lot before it happens. So if people don't understand that I've been pushing harder back against that than anybody, then they, you know, feel free to call me personally and I'll explain it to you. But, um, you know, all we've said is we've got it as good as we can from the Board of Health. We are just our department. We are not the planning board, the zoning board, the selectmen. So we have added as much stuff into it to protect, if that passes, as much as we possibly can. Um, but that doesn't mean, you know, at town meeting as a board, we got those changes put in. But at the meeting, none of us might vote for it. You don't know who's going to vote for it. And, um, but I just want people to know where we have to stay in our lane. So we don't have the planning board and the selectmen can put it on town meeting vote. And all we've been doing having these meetings is to try to um, restrict it as much as possible so you can't get extra lots by doing this. So anybody who didn't get that, I hope I just made it clear. But um, right, and it was our criticisms of the way it was written last year that pushed it. It didn't go to town meeting last year. It was pushed yeah. out over a year. Yeah. So And then this was just a couple of weeks ago. And who's pushed back out of the me against it? to say i'm the one pushing it through was right. either they don't understand or or they have other motives but um wish more people would come to meetings yeah doing the cluster yeah. zone in open space now they call it open space to make it sound better yeah, yeah. had a park everything yeah like i kind of was I, you guys got it right I, I wasn't pushing it. I wasn't pushing it through for sure, right? I was, I was trying to, yeah. Exactly. I was trying to put as many stops on it that we can, as our board, to make sure there was no loopholes. Yeah. So how somebody might have taken that is I'm trying to push it through for some reason. I don't know where that came from, but it's not the case. And watch how I vote when it comes to town meeting. So. All right, that's all I wanted to say. Get I anything believe, else? Do we know if that is on town meetings and we are discussing it? Is that hasn't been posted uh, yet? I don't know yet. But our, yeah, the, the I think it is. Hasn't been, uh, it's not typed yet, but I know he's trying to get it on. The preview okay. hasn't. We don't no. know if it's definite or not. But. And that meeting hasn't been announced yet for the to look at to warrant review. No, hasn't been announced. Usually they send it out to us too before that. So, okay. okay. Right, anything um, on COVID or anything? Um, yeah, so there is um, there's a new variant out there, but um, they say um, they say now that the new vaccines, which are going to come out next week, it will cover the the new variants out there. Yeah. There is an increase again, but like I said, um, the hospitalizations are increasing, but not compared to last year, or definitely not two years ago. We're we're in a lot better shape in that sense, but they they are increasing definitely. Um, uh, also, um, the Board of Health and um, the COA are doing a, um, a flu shot um, clinic, flu shot vaccine on September 29th on Friday. Um, you can sign up on our website or um, just go to the COA and sign up as well. But that's flu shot, that's not COVID. What's COA? Oh, sorry, Council on Aging. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and that's on Precinct Street? Yeah. 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 On Deer Road. Yeah, Deer Crossing. D-E-A-R Crossing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the shots are free? Shots. Um, you, yeah, you have to show up with, um, well, yeah, the, the, everyone gets a shot, but if you have um, health insurance, you should bring your health insurance information. Okay. Do we have a limited number of them, or do we? Uh, we have 70. Um, and right now we don't have 70 people signed up, so we, right now we have plenty of space available. Um, so there's, there's plenty of room. I think we have a vote. Less than 20 signed up, so we, we still. But there is a cutoff. We're only allowing 70. Yeah, I mean, if, if it was the case that more, um, we would probably, um, 
you know, give the 70 out that day and then, you know, get the names and everyone and have, have one come back in two weeks when we get more vaccine. We okay. can get more vaccine, but we just guessed it. Okay. okay. Anything else? I get nothing. Um, triple E and Yeah, the, the, the triple E. Um, so they, they, there are still no human cases of triple E, but they did finally test uh, four positive mosquitoes for triple E. Uh, it's actually south of Worcester. It's not really in this area, but, um, huh. you know, up until this point, we hadn't had any triple E, which is really good. Um, they've tested 96 for West Nile, um, and we now have two human cases in West Nile. So, uh, and a number have been tested uh, for West Nile in Middleborough and around this area. So this this area definitely has West Nile around in, in the area. So, okay. The human cases, were they in this county or no, middle, uh, middle I don't side? believe so, but I mean, it's it, the mosquitoes have been tested here. So the, there's a very strong possibility someone in this area could get it too. Right. Is that it? Yeah, That's it. it. Anything else? I am nothing. I am good. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.